A cheerful good morning and a very warm welcome to one and all present today in the GK class. Before going ahead with today's class, again I would like to share you the same things, but really in a bit a uh, little bit good sense because the number of COVID cases are declining as per the news headlines, and at the same time the <clears throat> number has come down below twenty thousand in our state. So this is really a little bit big achievement for us because uh, there were some kind of fluctuations now and then, and the number of cases were above twenty thousand only. So this is little bit achievement for us, and at the same time, let us hope that our all the class uh, sorry uh, this number of COVID cases may keep on declining as it is now, and soon it may come within ten thousand or one thousand or even zero as well. Okay, let's hope. pray to god to <clears throat> get ourselves vaccinated as soon as possible and thereafter going ahead with our normal physical classrooms with the same enthusiasm and everything so starting with today's class what we are going to do here is the very first thing that is first i'm going to share you the syllabus okay what we have done in the last class followed by the bookish part that is what we are going to do today followed by your <coughs> current affairs that is day to day happenings what is going on in our state national as well as international level and everything and at the same time the last part that is some of the questions related to your simplifications as well okay so let us uh, let us start with this without any delay okay so as we can see here is that is the very first thing let me show you the syllabus I hope all of you would have got your UT two syllabus. Periodic test two. Okay. What I remember is that in the last class we have done these two page numbers. That is the last page of fifty one. That is here. This page number. This one. Okay. The suffix and the prefix. If you remember, I have told you. Okay. And at the same time. we have also done the next page number that is our page number 46 here okay that is in the last class only here is this one okay if you remember steffi graf and everyone the most famous sport persons and related to your tennis time okay i hope the screen has been shared all right so this page number also have been done by us So today, what we are going to start here is that is first and the foremost thing. We'll be starting with page number fifty-two of sports and entertainment, and at the same time, thereby we will be going ahead with <coughs> the next page number if time permits. Okay. Now starting with our this page number, let us see. Before going ahead, uh, I hope I have not discussed little bit about this, but I think today uh, it is necessary to discuss related bit, uh, little bit related to this. that all of you know that sports and entertainment as the name suggest okay so this sports is very much important in our life okay as if you <coughs> please do not take it on a very large scale just think it at your class level only you we have uh, you all are getting one games classes or sports classes within a week and you all are so much excited about that class okay that is each and every one eagerly waits for that day for that period to arrive in a week so that we may have the highest level of entertainment we will be able to enjoy at our highest moment and at the same time the entire week's pressure of teachers parents education homeworks class works and everything gets brushed up that is it uh, our minds becomes fresh and we feel much more energetic after attending the sports classes okay in terms of your uh, mental level i'm talking about okay physically you get exhausted because you keep on playing here and there but if we talk at the mental level so basically this brushes up or freshens up your mind 
from all the worries and everything and you start giving your 110% or even much more than that what were you giving earlier in your studies okay if you would have seen class uh, not only we okay we are also motivated by many persons okay if you remember uh, one of the famous uh, hockey player that is Sandeep Singh who came to our one of the branches that is your knowledge park okay so <clears throat> I basically I would like to thank our honorable chairman sir and the entire management team who managed to <coughs> have a look over the life person or such an inspirating person in spite of so many injuries and everything he got up he played again he won again and he showed that everything is possible if you decide if you have a willpower each and everything is possible for you okay so in the same way i request you as well not only the live recordings but if you go on a virtual screen as well that is if you go to the cinemas pictures films and everything so there also you would have observed that we have a lot of movies which are based on the inspiriting stories of the sports persons like we have dangal there or we have bhag milka bhag or we have your boxing brothers okay that is also there and uh, many others are there okay so uh, I request you that is please get inspired by anything whatever you want to do okay if you want to uh, make your career or if you want to go ahead in your sports so please don't hesitate with your uh, about sharing it with your parents please do share it so that you be on a safer side and try to do your best in whatever you are doing if you are studying study at your full soul full heart wholeheartedly if you are playing play it wholeheartedly and try to live in the present leave about the past as well as the future okay it is very easy to say but very difficult to maintain it or very very difficult to have it that is living in the past sorry living in the present not thinking about the future or the past okay let us start with our today's class here so the very first thing that is starting with page number 52 okay sci-fi films okay just now i was talking you about related to the films only and we have it here okay sci-fi films that is basically the films which are being <coughs> made by these famous persons or basically some of the famous movies which we are related to entertainment okay so match these lead actors with the sci-fi films in which they have appeared okay so the very first one we have henry thomas that is your d that is et the extraterrestrial okay then we have the kino reeves that is your h the matrix okay followed by shahrukh khan that is your e ravan i hope most of you or 99 percent of you would have seen okay or even 100 percent as well Next we have Rajni Kant that is your robot okay a this also 110 percent or even I can say 99.9 percent .9 of the students the people everyone would have seen this movie by Rajni Kant okay next we have Sam Worthington that is your C that is your avatar okay this one next we have here is that is your Leonardo DiCaprio okay so we have here the inception movie is done by him second last we have sam neil that is your b that is jurassic park i hope most of you would have seen especially the students okay next we have the arnold schwarzenegger uh, okay that is your f the terminator okay so this these were the famous persons related to these science fiction movies or the fiction movies okay moving ahead with the next part we have the answer these questions okay in this case the very first one we have here is that is in the film the martian or the martian as whatever you pronounce okay the martian or the martian okay what is the name of the space ship 
that transports astronauts from Mars to Earth. Okay, so the name of that space ship is Hermes. That is your H E R M E S. Okay, that is your Hermes. Moving ahead with the next one, we have here director George Lucas made a legendary science fiction film featuring the characters Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay, what was the name of the film? So, the name of the film directed by George Lucas was Star Wars. Okay, the next we have here is that is in the film Avengers Age of Ultron. Who voiced the robot Ultron? Okay, that is the voice of this robot Ultron was given by whom? Okay, the robot ki awaj thi, wo kisne nikali hai ya kisne bola hai? Okay, so we have here is that is your James Spado. Okay, next we have here that is in the film X Machina, which actor played the role of Nathan? Okay. So we here we have here that is the Oscar Isaac okay or Isaac next we have the in the film Logan okay don't get confused with Lagan okay Lagan was your Bollywood movie of Amir Khan okay this is your Logan just we have only single first in place of O it should be A it becomes your Lagan so please don't get confused with the spelling and please don't make the spelling mistakes as well okay so in this film Logan what is the name of the lab where X23 was created okay so the name of the lab where this X23 was created is alkali transition okay regarding this alkali I would like to say here one thing okay when the name has come Alkali is basically what okay all of you would have studied about the acids basis and salt take okay? acid base or salt ke baare mein. Kuch lo, uh, I hope you would have heard about it Nahi suna hai to aap, aap sun bhi lenge. not at all a problem for you all okay acids as all of you know that is the things which are sour jo bhi hoti hai. Take care. so we call it to be uh, your acids and the things which are bitter in taste we call it to be your basis okay now all those bases which are soluble in water they are known as your alkali okay so that is related to your science part as well and i hope x23 is also related to one of the science topics only most probably okay as these are the science fiction films only okay moving ahead with this we have the next that is your fact file in this fact file Okay, Kadu, The Jungle was India's first science fiction film made in 1952 and this was a Tamil American production that is I think so as the name suggests Tamil American production so most probably a joint collaboration by Tamil as well as America or maybe something else okay not pretty sure. I request uh, you all as well okay if you would have seen some of the movies related to this okay please try to share your experiences in the next class that is we have it on this coming Wednesday okay so I request all of you if you would have seen these movies okay please try to share your experiences Try to narrate the story and let us be a part of the passive listeners. Okay, or a part of the active listeners. Okay, starting with this, so we have completed this page number that is your page number 52. Okay, now let us go ahead with the next page. So the next page is page number 60 here. In page number 60 that is also most probably related to your entertainment only
now I'm not making the <coughs> PDFs okay there is a particular reason for that because what I'm thinking is to compile up this entire part okay that is compiling up all these <coughs> pictures in one PDF and provide you either at the time of your periodic test 2 or at the time of your annual examinations okay so the most probably I will try to compile it up at the end of your PT2 and at the same time at the end of your annual portion so that you will also be it will be easier for you as well to prepare it and at the same time it will be beneficial for you as well okay so let us start with this that is page number 60 I hope this is also related to your sports only okay okay so page number 60 is related to the sports water sports basically we have here that is the sports which involve water in them okay starting with this the very first one that is we have read these clues and solve the crossword puzzle using the names of some famous water sports here okay starting with this the very first one okay that is across when we are talking about across so across ka matlab aap sabhi log jante hain left to right okay and when we are talking about down so it is basically up to down okay so across number three that is we have here this one originally called the football in the water this game is played in a swimming pool with a buoyant ball by two teams of seven that is your water polo okay most probably this but i don't think this is something looking like your volleyball maybe this only okay not sure not pretty sure but the correct name is your water polo only okay moving ahead with the next one that is your this so here it is the water polo number four we have here this sport of plunging into water is often performed with the addition of gymnastics and acrobatic stunts okay so this is known as your diving okay that is your d-i-v-i-n-g the next we have that is your number five here so in this recreational sport a person is towed behind a boat while attached to a specially specially designed cloth covering the covering stretches out on the mast to catch the wind and propel the boat here okay so basically this is known as your parasailing and uh, i hope most of you would have seen this one parasailing because aapne dekha hoga ki ek aadmi rehta hai okay that is <coughs> he uh, wo ek kisi boat ke piche piche i hope chalta rehta hai okay aur wo specially designed boat rehti hai और पीछे उसके एक पैराशूट टाइप का स्ट्रक्चर रहता है जो जैसे ही हवा में चलता है तो वो हवा से भर जाता है ओके द नेक्स्ट वी हैव हियर इज दैट इज नंबर सेवन ओके सो दिस इज योर पैरा सेलिंग दैट इज नंबर फाइव हियर इफ यू कैन सी ऑन द क्रॉसवर्ड पजल आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज राइट इट डाउन हियर आस विल एंड एट द सेम टाइम फिल आउट द पजल्स बिकॉज at the time of your preparation or while learning the answers it will be very easy for you to recall from here okay whereas this is just for mere fulfillment of the formality or just a little bit making it much more interesting by giving out a puzzle here okay so the next we have is the this involves underwater swimming most probably this i hope with a face mask that is also present and flippers not visible but i hope it is there but without oxygen equipment no oxygen equipment is here okay so this is known as your snorkeling okay moving ahead with the down so the very first one we have here is that is this recreational sport is about navigating rivers or other water bodies with an inflatable bo boat okay so rafting that is your river rafting i hope inflatable boat is that completely flat boat without any uh, space or something 
to sit or anything completely flat boats are known as inflatable most probably what i think so the next we have here is that is water propulsion is used for flying above the surface of a body of a water okay so that is known as your jet boarding okay so this is a sport of riding breaking waves towards the shore that is your surfing okay let me show you where are they present when we are talking about the rafting so we have the first one that is here okay next we have the surfing we have this one number six and next we have the jet boarding which is this one okay so we have only three jet boarding number two number one rafting and number six your surfing okay moving ahead with the next one that is related to your fact file here so underwater swimming with breathing equi equipment is known as scuba diving and whereas underwater hockey also known as octopus is another popular underwater diving sport okay i hope i would have got the images of all these sports because they seem to be much more interesting for each and every one of us okay no problem i will try my level best or you try to have it from the google as well okay moving ahead so i hope this these two are enough for today let us see the time okay already it's 21 22 so let us start with the current affairs So these two page numbers we have completed that is page number 52 and page number 60 so in this way we have completed our entire topic that is your sports and entertainment so now we will we are left behind with just one page number that is page number 53 and that we will be completing in the last week that is <clears throat> we have here that is the next week here okay let us go ahead with this Okay, uh, now we are going to start with the current affairs. Okay, so here it is, that is yours from 17-12-2020. That is the news headlines of or the top five news of yesterday. So the very first one we have is that is your Chilahati Haldibari rail link reopens between India and Bangladesh. Okay. So during a virtual sum summit between the prime ministers of India and Bangladesh on December 17, 2020, the 55 years old so that is much more older okay chilahati and haldibari rail link was inaugurated the link which was cut off indo park war in 1965 was reopened again to enhance the connectivity and transport between the two nations the railway link will facilitate the movement of goods cargo while the passengers can start traveling as soon as the required infrastructure is in place okay here what we have is that is one more thing i would i hope i have shared you this one as well that is the ports which are being made ports basically means bandarga bandarga means basically the place where the ships used to come and stay or where the people can land from the ships here basically so in um, Varanasi, the first ship which has arrived from Goa, okay, remember it, okay, or mujhe jahan tak lagta hai, ye 110% true bhi hai. Okay, so from here we can go to Goa, okay, much more facilities are being added slowly and slowly, but one of the cargo ships that is substances, materials, goods has been transported from Goa to Varanasi, okay. 
so this is really a very big achievement for us because you also know that it was next to impossible what i think is okay let us start or go ahead with the next one okay so this was also if you remember yesterday only our honorable prime minister uh, it was the day when we remembered the victory of indians over the india versus pakistan war okay and i hope on that moment only this has been done okay this reopening of this rail link has been done pm modi to attend g7 summit in 2021 so he has accepted the invitation of britain's prime minister boris johnson to attend the g7 summit in the year 2021 okay the summit will be hosted by the united kingdom the letter from uk's pm was handed personally to pm modi by britain's foreign secretary dominic raab who is also currently on a visit to india the british prime minister had earlier announced that they extend the invitations to indian australian and south korean leaders to take part in g7 summit okay next we have that is the india launches economy diplomacy website okay by s jay shankar that is the union external affairs minister on december 16 which aims at showcasing the economic strengths as well as state wise and sectoral strengths of india the website aims at providing relevant information on major central and state government policies as well as on economic indicators that is whatever the money or anything expenditures which are being done at the state level at the district level each and everything will be visible here so in order to have a much more better transparency there okay indian space agency launches communication satellite that is isro on december 17 2020 launched communication satellite cms01 from pslv c50 the 25 hour countdown had started at 14 41 hours on december 16 the 42nd communication satellite of india has transponders to provide service with the use of extended c band the satellite will cover not only the mainland area of india but also cover the island territories that are far for communication purposes last but not the least we have improved i hope okay so india is at the rank of 131 in the report of un development program the country has been ranked among the 189 countries all over the world hdi is a measure that is your human development index is a measure of the country's edu education health and a standard of living besides india bhutan is at 129 bangladesh 133 nepal 142 and pakistan at 154 the index has been topped by norway it is followed by ireland switzerland hong kong and iceland okay i hope this was there for today okay our gk exam is there on 5th of january okay so i hope we will be getting one more class okay that is the last week of this and we will be completing it so this is the question for you today the three questions i hope you will be able to do it if not the answers solutions and everything will be provided to you don't worry for that but still first and the foremost thing please complete this one try to take the screenshot or the question uh, take the picture or anything whatever you feel like please do it as soon as possible I hope all of you would have taken it and at the same time I request all of you to please participate in these type of questions 
because it is going to help you a lot. I hope all of you would have taken that's it for today. Okay. So this was all for today. Thanks a lot for being with me and have a superb day ahead and please don't forget to take all the necessary precautions and please don't forget to solve these questions as well. Okay. So this was all for today. Thank you and have a superb day ahead. Thank you.